radius. Oh, I don't know the radius. I do know the segments, so I'll just put in 16 for the segments right now. And radius, uh, let's see, 100 feet, maybe, right? We can always go smaller or bigger, which is great about being parametric. There we go. Now, I have this basic uh, form. Let me copy it in the vertical direction and get maybe maybe three of them, three or four of them. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to move these. Okay, so move the geometry, which is the polygon, in the Z direction. So we're going straight up. And let's see, I always like to merge values together. This way it stays a little bit better organized. And of course the first value, like the first one on the base is not moving. So I'm just gonna say if the first one moves, zero. The second one moves, uh, let's say 100. And again, these are sliders, we can always change this. Second one moves 200. How's that looking? Uh, not too bad, it's looking all right. And of course, if I loft these together, it's just going to be straight. So we do want to add some contouring to this. So let's um, scale these down. 